There's one thing all pros have in common, clean golf clubs. Gimme golfers, welcome back to another video. My name's Nolan. Today I'm gonna show you how to turn this dirty golf club into a brand new looking golf club. I definitely didn't go make this dirty in my backyard. Sorry for the chunks in the grass, Dad. We'll see you on the tee box. First things first is supplies. You're gonna need a bucket full of water and soap. Make sure it's lukewarm water. My favorite thing is duck soap to use. Next, you need a towel and a soft bristle brush. Okay guys, now that you have all of your materials laid out in a big open area, like a garage, outside, maybe in your basement, start off with your irons, okay? Dirtiest clubs. I just want you guys to soak them in the water. You can stir the water around a little bit to get that soap sudsy. I want you to grab all your irons, soak them in the water for about 10 minutes, okay? You're gonna get all the dirt, grime, and material nice and loose. A few moments later. Okay, now that we've let our clubs soak for about 10 minutes, make sure that, that you guys, if you're in the garage or outside, make sure that you have your towel or anything laid out so that you can put your clubs right on it and they don't get scratched. All you're gonna do, guys, watch me. You're gonna get a bit of soap on there. You're gonna get a bit of soap on your soft bristle brush, okay? If you guys have like a hard wire brush, that can actually scratch your clubs. All you're gonna do, you're gonna go back and forth with the grooves a bit. Once that water starts getting a little bit brown and yellowy, dunk it in there to get clean, fresh water, then go against the grooves. Okay, making sure that we're pressing firmly to get all the dirt and grime out. Do that a few times with the grooves, dunk it against the grooves. Awesome. If you guys want your clubs nice and clean as well, get a little bit of soap on the bristle brush and get the bottom and back of the club. Comment down below if you guys think Tiger Woods is out in his garage cleaning clubs. I don't know to be honest. Okay, once they're clean, dunk them in the water one last time. You're just gonna lay them out on that towel you're gonna do that with every single club, okay? Make sure you guys wait until the end to see how you clean a driver. You guys don't wanna be scratching up your driver while you're cleaning them, right? If you guys clean your clubs and the next day you find there's a little bit of rust, on your clubs, make sure you stay till the end because there's a really good trick to stop that rust from collecting on your club, okay? The reason we don't use a hard bristle brush like a wire brush and we use a soft bristle brush is because you can actually scratch your club with the hard bristle brush, which you don't want, okay? That can lower the value of your club. It can obviously look worse and you want some nice, clean, fresh irons, you know? If your irons are really dirty, you can actually start with your drivers uh, so that you're not cleaning your drivers in like really dirty monkey water. My irons weren't too bad, so I didn't do that, but... Okay, with your wedges, I want you guys to take your time with your wedges. Okay, because they're going to be a little bit more dirty. There's going to be dirt and grime like sand that you don't really see in the grooves. I want you to spend a little bit more time cleaning your wedges because they're the most important part of your golf game. You want them to be super clean so that you get maximum spin. I like to use a brush with a handle just because uh, then I don't get my hands all wet and I can kind of, I have a little bit more control. If you guys don't have a brush with a handle, go out and buy one, okay? Yeah, so just by cleaning your clubs, you're going to have more control over the ball. The ball's going to have more spin. Uh, it's going to go straighter. The club's actually going to be able to do its job. So what I suggest is not just cleaning your clubs after every single round or before you go out. Actually having a brush, a little, like you can get those little hardwired brushes or a soft one. I suggest a soft one just so it doesn't scratch your clubs. And then after every single shot, just brushing your clubs and then wiping it off with a towel so that the next time you need to use that club, it's nice and clean again. Okay, now that we're done with all our irons, 
We'll leave them there, let them sit a bit. We're gonna start with the drivers, okay? This one, really be careful with the brush because that's you can really scratch up a driver. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna soak it in there a little bit. Drivers don't get that dirty. So take the brush, get soap, lots of soap on it, lots of water. That'll decrease the chance of you scratching it. You're just gonna go really lightly on the face, on the bottom. It's not really gonna need it on the top, so don't really do it. Maybe a few passageways through, but that's how you scratch your clubs. Again, setting it on the towel so that you're keeping your clubs from scratching. With the driver, you don't need to let these soak because they're not really gonna be that dirty unless you're chunking your driver, which you guys shouldn't be doing, okay? If you're chunking your driver out, out and off, you gotta go watch some Rick Shields to help you out. I don't think I can fix that, to be honest. Now that we have all our drivers done, all our irons, all our wedges, we just have our putter too. Usually the putter's not going to be that dirty. You just kind of soak it in there. You don't need to let it sit. Just get a little bit wet and go over it with a brush, making sure that there's nothing on that face so that you can get good roll with your putter. Just wipe it clean, wipe it dry, making sure that you get all the water off. There shouldn't be any dirt left on it because remember, we were soaking the clubs back in after we got all the dirt and grime off, okay? Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna show you guys how to clean your grips. One of the most important parts of having a clean golf club is a clean grip. So subscribe, like this video, and check out the next couple of videos coming up, all right? WD-40, this is the trick that's gonna help us not get rust on our club, okay? Don't use it on the front of your club, because then you're gonna have like an oily substance on the front, that's not gonna help your ball play. All I do is just use a little titch in the cappy back right here. I don't use it on my bladed iron or my wedges, because they don't really collect rust. The only spot, because my irons are a little bit older, is here, right in the cappy back. So all I'm gonna do, making sure I'm away from my clubs and grips, is just spray a small, small bit. Perfect, just like that, and I can wipe it off. And you don't want to use too much. The more you use, the more oily your clubs are going to be, which you don't want. And there you have it, Gimme Golfers. That's how you clean a club, making them nice and shiny. What we're going to do, we're going to need to put them back in our bag now. You guys are going to run to the store, okay, Golf Town, Canadian Tire, whatever you guys have out there, you're going to grab yourself a little brush like this, okay? that you can keep your clubs nice and clean on and off the course, okay? You guys are gonna be shooting like Tiger Woods, maybe even better than Tiger Woods with nice clean clubs. I hope this video helped. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next video.